smart, and funny. Sneaky, funny, and sweet. I was gonna say comedic came to mind. Spunky. Yeah, she is. Tough to encapsulate a person in three words. Um, loving. Absolutely wonderful chaos. Wise. Hilarious and precious. Gappy. Smart. Strong. Sensitive. It's just like something that like traps girls so they can't really speak when they want to. They can't like, they can't say what they want. Things we take for granted. Dressing ourselves, beating ourselves, brushing our teeth, brushing our hair. Those are things that uh, Rett syndrome keeps these young girls from doing. Many girls have seizures, are not able to feed themselves, need feeding tubes, and it also causes very severe breathing problems. When I met Monica and I pulled out my iPad to show her a picture of Gabby, and the picture I happened to be pulling up was Gabby was holding a cup and a spoon and she was gonna eat an ice cream, and Monica literally goes, whoa, she holds a cup. So things we took for granted that was Gabby's disability, we had no idea how other girls with threat were so much more severely disabled. You know, 95 plus percent of 99. girls diagnosed with Rhett don't walk or talk. Oh, can't no. have no purposeful hand music. Or maybe I mean, 99 percent. 99.9 can't do what Gabby can do. And it gave me hope. She can write and she can express herself as a smart young lady that she is. It's difficult because she can only do it with one finger, but once she puts her mind to it, she is as expressive as the greatest writer you've ever read words from. There's three words that just knock me out. I am smart. Same for me. It was a secret all those years because us even as her parents, we loved her, we had faith in her, we did everything we could, but we didn't realize till she was much older the magnitude of her brilliance and her intelligence and her awareness because it was so hard for her to communicate. And that just changed everything. Unpredictable, strong, anomaly. Unpredictable because my behavior can be unpredictable, but also nobody could predict the progress I have made. Strong because I have determination that surprises even myself sometimes. Anomaly because I realize how lucky I am compared to so many girls suffering from more severe manifestations of Rett syndrome. People think when you can't talk and you can't write, you don't think, and that's not true. This is a beautiful, smart, wonderful, intelligent child locked inside this body that won't cooperate with her and let her express herself. Prison, isolation, frustration. Every single time I want to ask a question, make a comment, give a compliment, or even tell someone off. If I could just talk, God, I wish I could just talk. Even with how hard it is, it's still so amazing what we can get out. Get a glimpse into her thoughts and her feelings. It's showing everybody, wow, there's a smart kid in there. I understand. Everyone's having this conversation. Hannah's just sitting there, and she's, she's looking at you. She wants to be in the conversation, and she can't. I want to talk. Hope, too. We asked her, uh, you know, what are you afraid of? I am afraid of losing my family. I can't look at the future. I didn't want to face the future. And I didn't because I didn't know what that meant. Who was going to take care of her when we were gone? Where was she going to live? Or what was her future? After my parents are gone, of course Alex and I will be there. But after Alex and I are gone, then what? I am afraid of being alone. Not being alone in my room or my head, that I am used to. I mean being alone in life. Like when my parents can't take care of me I am afraid I won't be able to take care of them. I am afraid of being a burden or a responsibility for my brother and sister and others who work with me. I fear daily that I will forever be taken at face value instead of being able to exude the mind and personality I hold inside. 
certainly for us and I think a lot of other parents opens up the uh, or want, pushes you even faster to want to get that cure to happen quicker because you know your daughter is trapped inside and this so body. aware of what's happening to her and 100 percent aware right uh, Rudy and I got involved with Rep Syndrome Research Trust, RSRT. The passion and commitment in that room. There's no politics, there's all agreement, and we're all there for one cause, and it's to cure our girls. We know what the gene is that causes Rhett. We have proof that it's not a degenerative disease. This is positioned to be the first neurological cure. And it, we have the gene, we've discovered it. It opens the doors to so many other illnesses. And, and I don't wanna focus just on the science, but the science is there and the scientists are excited to work on it. There have been so many new publications of breakthroughs in science regarding Rett syndrome. One of them being that they were able to uh, dramatically reverse symptoms in the Rett mice using gene therapy. So we're extremely hopeful. I hope for a cure. My hope is that she can like be cured and then she can tell her story. And everyone be like motivated. I don't hope for it, I'm gonna get it. We're gonna get it. That Gabby can live an independent, productive, happy life, have a family, and live on her own. And whatever her dreams are, that she follows them and she realizes them. My dream for her would be She's going to go to college one day, and she's going to have a career. We can walk her down the aisle one day. She can, small things, she can have a best friend. She can just go to the movies with her friend, or drive a car, or brush her own teeth. I mean, the, the, the things that I dream of for Hana are such small and such grand things. The sky's the limit, and we are going to do everything that we can to get there. And she wants to get there. You get to be part of that legacy that we're actually going to make a difference in this world. We're actually curing a neurological disease. We're going to change the life of hundreds of thousands of girls all over the world. I am convinced that inside every girl with red, there is a smart, beautiful, cognitive personality. It's just how do we figure a way to let it all out? We, we have to unlock the key to those girls' lives. We can do it, and we have an obligation to do it. Brave. Oh, my girl. I mean, I just, you know, she's, she's my hero. She really is. She's, she's this amazing, amazing, amazing little girl. I think what Gabby wants most is recognition and respect for her intelligence. And I think, finally, after all these years, she's starting to get it. For the future, I only want to be a person who gives, not takes, a contributing member of society who has something meaningful to share.